A report from the CDC is shedding light on the safety of COVID-19 vaccines. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is breaking down the data and explains why it should be reassuring news for those waiting for their dose. The CDC's report may give a sigh of relief to some folks on both the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, giving people a closer look at what you could expect when you get your dose. The CDC analyzed safety data from mid-December to mid-January. In that time, nearly 14 million doses were administered. The findings? One reporting system received about 7,000 reports of adverse events. Almost all of them are just mild. A little bit of a headache or fatigue or muscle aches or pain at the site of injection or something like that, which is like super, super, super safe. Almost 91% of that system's adverse reports during that time were classified as non-serious. The symptoms most frequently shared, headache, fatigue, and dizziness. Rare cases of severe life-threatening allergic reactions were reported. To put it in perspective, the CDC says about 4.5 cases per million doses administered, rates that are similar to those for other vaccines. If you're prone to anaphylactic reactions and you carry an EpiPen, I would be careful and make sure you stick around for an extra half hour or so after you get your shot. Another monitoring system found for the Pfizer vaccine, reactions were more frequent after the second dose. Data on Moderna's second dose wasn't available at the time. Dr. Thomas Unash explains this has to do with your immune system ramping up. It really jumps on it and then it says, oh, we've seen this twice. We got to remember this and it develops a much more long lasting, much more effective immune response. So if you were planning to wait to get the shot, Dr. Unash says. Now, you know, it's safe, so it's time to line up and get it. It's a lot better than getting the infection, that's for sure. Looking ahead, the CDC and the FDA will continue monitoring safety of COVID-19 vaccines, both to inform policy and to keep up public confidence. In Tampa tonight, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.